Crabman here from Crabman Gaming. Today we'll be playing through WWF Smackdown Just Bring It Story Mode with Steven Richards. And I've got an interesting story mode to play through today. It's a tag team pathway and it does involve a three on one handicap match. So Steven is going to have to be at his best to defeat three people at once. I don't know how challenging this is going to be. Stevie, I have a huge opportunity for you. It involves you and the tag team titles. Can't give you all the details, but I have a match all set for you. You'll need to find a tag team partner, though. Well, that kind of sucks, because Val Venus and Goodfather and Bull Buchanan are all not in this game. Interesting that Stevie made the cut, and someone like the Godfather, or Goodfather, who was probably way more popular than Stevie, is, actually, is not in the game, and Stevie is. All right, you want to find a tag team partner, so let's see who I want. So for Raw, we just need to find a tag team partner and win the match, which is always, bizarrely, is always a TLC match randomly on Raw for no reason. And I've tweaked Stevie Richards' moveset slightly to give him a few more submissions to try and win this three-on-one handicap match because I'm already feeling a bit nervous about uh, winning that match. All right, Stevie Richards, some good partners here. Stevie Richards and The Rock. I know I call him Stevie Richards. I know he's Steven Richards in this game with the right to sense a gimmick, but um, there's the ladies' man himself, Dean Malenko, Bradshaw, no thank you. Interesting, three world champions here, future world champions to pick from. I might go with The Rock. Stephen Richards and The Rock is a good combo. Hey, The Rock, are you down to... Are you down to help me out tonight and be my tag team partner? Let's go wild. Oh, Jay Rock's charisma coming out. So we just need to win this match as normal, although I kind of forgot that I'm going to have to face The Rock and two other people at once. You just go find Rock here and start your match. Oh, let's go wild again, says Rock. He's ready. Flex Cavana is ready to go out there with Stevie Richards. Stevie Richards has been in uh, quite a few different promotions. Obviously, an ECW original. Was a two-time tag team champion there. Here we go. Albert and Christian. What a team. And then moved over to the WWF, where he was a 21-time hardcore champion for a total of 35 days. Was with a few factions. Did take me a long time to realize there's actually a beat behind the weird sirens. So if you listen carefully, have a listen. I don't know if you quite heard that. Weighing 275 pounds from Miami, Florida, the people's champion, Bo comes Rock and our opponents. Weighing 350 pounds from Boston, Massachusetts, Albert. There's Albert. He was my very first playthrough. He teamed up with Eddie Guerrero to form Heat Factor and go on to win the tag team titles. And they were the tag team champions for quite a few playthroughs as well. Strange, no Xbox. I just amazed there's no Xbox in the game. Christian with his 1998 Tron and music that he didn't really use very often. His Blood Brother music track and video. Well, I had something I was going to say, but I forgot. I'll be announcing tonight's event. So I've, yeah, I've, tw I've tweaked his moveset because I think I'm going to have to do a three on one match and a submission is probably the only way I'm going to win. Just the the ring will yeah, I had another point, but I've forgotten what it is. Maybe it's X-Pac. That's just, it's so bizarre that he is not in this game. I know, well, not I know, but I think he was injured around for, for a little while and he was off TV for a bit. But still, for someone who was there in the early 90s, that is an excellent attack. 
he and, and I know he went to WCW for a little bit, but I'm just really surprised Xbox not in this game. Oh, Stevie Richards. Let's go on about some of the factions and, and people he managed. So he came to WWF, was involved probably the right to stable, right to stable, right to censor stable was probably his biggest angle that he had while he was in the WWF slash WWE. So loads of other good memorable moments as well. He was the short-lived manager of Chronic before uh, they got asked to go back down to developmental and refused and were fired. Awesome match at Unforgiven 2001. Worst worked match of the year from the Wrestling Observer. Which it's pretty brutal. Brian Adams, Brian Clark versus Undertaker and Kane. Stevie Richards is the manager. Uh, did a lot of good work here. I'm trying to remember if it's SummerSlam or if it's Survivor Series. 2000. I think it's SummerSlam 2000 that my Stevie Richards recommended match, which is going to be is right to censor versus too cool, and that's a really good fun match. So that's either Survivor Series or I think it's SummerSlam, the SummerSlam 2000 opener, and that's really cool. That's my that's my Crabman recommended match for this video. Uh, he's also the leader of the BWO as Big Stevie Cool. Got to relive that gimmick after One Night Stand, a six-man tag on a 2006 pay-per-view against the Mexicals. Didn't go very long, Not don't really have to go out of your way to find that match. It's not amazing. But he was involved in a lot of different things, and maybe almost as memorable as Right to Censor was his run with Victoria, which was kind of cool to see. Victoria as the the focal part of that team and, and Stevie Richards supporting her During her crazy gimmick. It was really good And he was also the general manager of Sunday Night Heat, which he called Stevie Night Heat Pretty entertaining if you can go find those. I've said it a few times on this channel Not affiliated with this channel, but there's a Hello Richard channel that has a lot of old heats velocities and metals with all the Raw and Smackdown bits cut out, so it's just the matches and segments, so they're really cool to watch because then they go for about 25 minutes and you get to see three or four matches from guys who weren't on TV much. Your Stevie Richards, your Ravens, Funakis, uh, Sean O'Hare, Brian Kendrick, Paul London's on there quite a lot. Some of the WCW guys, D'Lo Brown's on there a fair amount as well. Alright, we're nearly up to a finisher. A lot of his moves, he doesn't actually have a very high rating, does Stevie, so a lot of his moves don't do that much damage. Kind of the higher ranked you, or the higher powered your wrestler is, their moves do more damage as you do them. I've given him the awesome rock clothesline there, just to help me with the upcoming triple threat. Well, not triple threat, but three on one handicap. I don't think there is a wrestler, I, there couldn't have been a worse wrestler I picked to do this for really. But I'm going to give it a good go. I haven't done the, the three on one handicap in any of these playthroughs. Stuck the Taz mission on him quite a lot of times, I'll say he learnt that in ECW off Taz. Now he's using it to good effects, I'm giving him a regal stretch as a finisher, along with his Stevie kick. Hmm. Let's see if I can pin him. Hey, that's the finish. Rock with a nice power slam as well on Christian, Captain Charisma. What an odd couple tag team. Stevie and The Rock. Alright, let's move on over to SmackDown. Still worried about this handicap. Oh my goodness, it's the tag team champions. Boys, you're standing in my yard. What do you mean? This is the right to censor's yard. Get Rock with a tie on. I don't know if I've ever seen Rock with a tie on. I'm sure I've seen him in suits before, 
But does he ever wear a tie? I don't know. Might have to look for some pictures. I have confidence we will win the tag team titles. Rock and Stevie Richards. That is the plan. Watch out, I'll make you famous. Just like DDP when I buried him to the bottom of the card. Yeah, I'm pumped about this title shot. Buried poor Canyon as well. Poor Canyon. I liked Canyon. I was a fan. Here's Undertaker and Kane as the Brothers of Destruction. They are the tag team champions. I do need to get the tag team title off the Undertaker though so I can uh, play through his story mode and go for the WWF title. He... Yeah, let's continue. My poor original 60 gig PS3 died so I'm playing this again on my PS2. Turned out to be a six-man tag team match with the tag team champions, which sadly reset all of my data. So all I had to do was unlock Tajiri again, and all the titles went back to their original holders, but that's okay. Glad I didn't have to unlock Shane and Stephanie, because you have to get every single card to unlock them, which includes two slobber knocker mode playthroughs. You've got to beat 10 people with Undertaker to get Fred Durst, and... You have to beat 17 people with The Rock to get the Fist Arena. After we win tonight's match, we'll finally be able to get a shot at the tag team title. So you got to say you've got to find a partner yourself. We're going to need a third tag team partner. So you want to say, I'll find someone. Hey, you saying you can't trust me? Go find your damn partner in the boiler room. This team can't be effective if we don't trust each other. You've got to trust Stevie Richards, Rock. You've got to trust him. You have to trust him. If you want to be a tag team champion, you have to trust him. And then you're going to say, I haven't trusted you since the beginning. Oh, burn. I didn't know you were like that. Stevie's angry. I didn't know you were capable. Oh, I knew what you were capable of in the ring, but I still didn't trust you. Didn't trust the great one. Rock's not happy. Off he goes. All right. I think we got to turn around. I think we need to get. Where do we need to go? Into the door. So we got to go in the lobby. We're in the dressing room? Hmm, we've got to find the rock here. Alright, well he's not here. We don't want to find... We don't want to find Michael Cole. Interesting. Alright, here's the APA room. Well, we'll go see if we can find rock somewhere. Oh, there he is. Don't know why he's in the APA office. Alright, now we've got to have a very sad and tearful breakup. No more Rock and Stevie. Hey Rock, what's up? Apologise. Let's break up. Our time together is done. I left everything to you. Finally you tell me you can't find our partner. Well, I don't really know who's talking in these scenes either. Oh, Stevie's got him! I've just <laughs> I've had just about enough of you. Attack me from behind. Attack him from behind. The very sight of you makes me sick. This is a cool playthrough. I haven't seen these scenes before. <laughs> Stephen Richards against Kane, Undertaker, and Rock. Oh, I love it. This should be good. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to replay this until I can beat it. Weighing 235 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Stephen Richards. Oh dear. At least Undertaker and Kane have a cool combined entrance. I'll let you watch that.
Here he comes, Big Evil, The Undertaker. Now I don't know why they don't come out with their tag team titles, because when you have the tag team title match, they do. But unless it's a tag team title match, or unless it's a title match, they don't. But this is early PS2, so I suppose we can forgive them with this really cool entrance they managed to come up for the Brothers of Destruction and their tag team partner. Now this will probably go down as the greatest upset in WWF history if I can win this match. We can't miss SmackDown tonight. I'm not sure that it's gonna happen. Michael Cole at ringside. Hey, don't ignore me. Especially with Stevie Richards. Just look. I maybe getting out. Oh no, getting out of the ring is my best option. I can't even get out the ring. I'm panicking. I've forgotten how to get out the ring. I've been playing a bit of um, WWE 2K15. And I've kind of confused myself with the controls a little bit. Oh, no, this. Get out of my way. Oh, great. There we go. We're out of the ring. Oh, no. Don't do that. Just look. What can he do to win? I actually don't think there's any any chance at all that I can win this match. What a match! I think I think there's none. Unless I just keep doing this running attack. Maybe running is my only option, or you can go in the crowd. And use the mop. But you don't want to get you don't want to get cornered. I'm lucky to see such an excellent match. He's furious. Look at the situation now. Maybe if I can get someone over, will they follow me over here or not? Actually, I don't think they will. Maybe this is the maybe this is the secret to this match. Is you can trap someone in the crowd. And then I don't think anyone else is going to hop over there on, on their own. So maybe it's just now me and Kane, which is somewhat manageable, although he is countering everything. Oh, don't do that. So now I'll need Kane again. Let's go around the other side of the ring. <laughs> or Rock. It's hard, because if I keep... No, no, no. If I keep changing people, they're just gonna they're just going to beat me. It's hard because you need to switch people, and then by the time you switch people, they're gonna get you and counter. All right, here we go. We got Kane again, but I think he's just gonna beat me because he's way ahead on the on his SmackDown meter. So if he gives me a finish, I am absolutely done. Although you might have to beat them in the ring. Maybe I can make him tap out here on the floor. Here's the pin! Move! The arena is packed. Hmm, so I might just try and keep Kane here. I'll see if I can... Oh, it's, it's, it's got to be in the ring, surely. But maybe... Okay. Steven Richards. If I keep doing my finishes, he will... I can, I can do that in the ring. And I can save up a finisher and do it in the ring. But we'll see how we go. That must have hurt. This must be the only way. I'll see if I can pin him out here. No, I probably can't. No, so I can't make him submit out here either. So I've got the I've got the regal stretch. So if I keep him out here and give him a finisher, and then the plan is to no, is to save up for another finisher. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Because I don't think Kane's going to give up with one finisher. Who will be the winner? Wow! Oh, backdrop almost onto the stairs. Poor Stevie. This is good. What's wrong with him? Then I don't want to be 
like that. On ridge hip throw. Mm, that's not where I want to be. Get out, Stevie. <laughs> if I lose, I'm not replaying this. I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm not going through this again. We'll just play the we'll just play the loser storyline. There's actually a few there's a few variations on this storyline. So if I lose, oh, I could have done my finisher. If I lose, I'm just gonna do that. What a counter! We'll be the better fighter tonight. And then someone else is gonna have to win the tag titles with Undertaker. All right, come on, regal stretch, regal stretch him. The fans are enjoying this. The only problem with these matches is the counter rate is just so high. So even when you think, even when you think you're on top or you try and dominate someone, hey, that was weird. We've teleported through, through the crowd. Okay, I like the fact I've done one, I've done one finisher on Kane. So I think if I can get the regal stretch on him again, I've never seen a fight this should work. It's so cool. Look at the oh no, no. Watch out for the rock. This just does require a lot of running around and a lot of getting trapped in the crowd. Oh no, don't go back in. Definitely one of the more unique story modes I'm trying to play here, so hopefully I can play it so you don't have to. I don't know how many of you out here still have a, a PS2 and a, and a copy of Just Bring It. Probably not that many people. Oh no. Oh, great. Get in. Get in the crowd. So I'll just try and get another finishing meter up, and then if I can get him in the ring, I'll just try and give him any kind of submission and then a regal stretch. It should be okay. Got lots of arm bars. No. The problem is Kane's nearly got a finisher, so if he gets a finisher in the ring, I'm done. I almost need to let him give me a finisher here on the outside first. A nice throw. I'm glad I changed his moveset, because the moveset he had was terrible. Most of them only went for three bars, and I think there's eight bars, and almost his whole moveset was three bars, with a couple of things being four bars, and even changing it, most of his moves went to technical, and they still... They're still all only four bars. Might let him give me a finisher out here. I think that's the way to go. Hurry, hurry. Oh, good. Kane's down. All right. No. Oh. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, quick! They're out of the ring. Oh, that would have been that would have been perfect. All right. I feel so nervous. Yes, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out. There shouldn't be any road break. Yes, 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 yes. Three on one. I can't believe I did it. That is incredible. First time. <laughs> I can imagine why he's fallen out of the ring. That is an excellent victory celebration for Stevie. Oh, Stevie. The greatest upset of all time. Whoever decides to challenge me, it won't matter. I'll get the title next time. Now, I'm not sure exactly what happens from here, but I think you, you still get a tag team title shot. And I don't know if it's with your normal tag team partner, like with The Rock. Or you get a new tag team partner, which I don't know why you would have the same partner. Uh, let's not save, let's save after, and yes please, let's continue. I can't believe I did that first time. I thought I was going to have to do that many times, and then once I started, I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Yeah, you get to be with The Rock again. Finally, Stephen Richards and The Rock will compete for the tag team titles tonight. Doesn't really make any sense at all why you would still be a tag team after you've turned on your partner, you've beaten him up backstage. You've beaten him in a handicap match, and he gets to be your partner again.
I heard tonight's challenges are Steven Richards and The Rock, but it's not going to be the perfect storybook ending you guys want. Doesn't matter who we face, each victory just proves that we are the greatest tag team champions ever. Tonight will be no exception. They were the tag team champions like tag team title. three weeks. Not long at all. All right, Stevie Richards and The Rock against Kane and The Undertaker. What am I? Weighing 235 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Stephen Richards. Weighing 275 pounds from Miami, Florida, the people's champion, Bull. Here we are at Backlash. It was here at Backlash 2001. It was Undertaker and Kane as the tag team champions. Sadly, they don't have their titles here for this dual entrance, but everybody else does if you... If someone else becomes the tag champs, they will come out with the titles. It was Undertaker and Kane defending their tag team titles against Steve Austin and Triple H, where Austin's WWF title was on the line and Triple H's Intercontinental Championship was on the line. It was the match all titles on the line. I'm not sure if they have done that since. I know TNA did it with Kurt Angle, where Kurt Angle was every champion. But I'm not sure if WWF have have done that. Who do you think you're I think they they did it once in your house with Diesel and Shawn Michaels winning the tag titles. And after those two times, I don't think they've done it. Either. Come on, Rock. We can't lose now after everything we've been through. This has been an epic playthrough. It's been one of my favourite playthroughs. I think just because of how unpredictable it's been and I've seen some new scenes and when you've played through the story mode 35 times and you're still seeing new things that's pretty exciting even though this is quite a long playthrough here's Kane my easy beats let's just keep working on Kane there's also a an Australian race car driver by the name of Stephen Richards, so if you try and type up Stephen Richards' name online, you might see the Australian race car driver first, and you kind of need to type in Stevie Richards if you want to see the wrestler. He also wrestled in TNA as well, but was mainly the Dr. Stevie character during that time. Uh, if you've got this deep into the video, just please flick a quick like down the bottom if you're enjoying these playthroughs. Uh, I'd love if you could subscribe. Let's see if we can increase the number of followers here. You can watch plenty more wrestling content. There's a lot here on the channel to enjoy. More coming all the time. And I'm looking forward to the next playthrough as well with the shut your mouth playthrough although I do remember oh I just remembered that the disc is stuck in the 60 gig PS3 that doesn't turn on anymore so that is a bit of a worry I'll either have to find another copy or get the disc out somehow or oh, I wonder if we can hit the Regal stretch, not hit the regal stretch, but apply the regal stretch quite quickly. I know this has been quite a long video. I think the Stephanie McMahon video is the longest. Oh my god! There's no you can't click R3 or L3 and get the min. Like some of the other SmackDown games. Undertaker here is just just whooping me here. Hurry, hurry! The Stevie. There's the Stevie kick as well, but the damage is actually so low. Oh no, too close the ropes. Gee, no cells. No cells it. Oh, that's it. He's out. Hook the leg. Yes! Stevie and The Rock are tag team champions. Just what you always wanted to see. The World Wrestling Federation tag team champions, Stephen Richards and The Rock. The Rock.
Rock and Stevie Richards. Now, I don't think you get to see them with the titles here. You'll only see them with the titles in another playthrough, which is a bit of a shame, I think. Oh no, here you go. There they are with the titles. Some playthroughs they do it, some they don't. That was an amazing match. Stephen Richards and The Rock, your new WWF Tag Team Champions of the World. What a playthrough. Still can't believe I won that handicap match. Here's some cards to unlock, which I'd already got. I'll save that after, absolutely, because they need Undertaker free for a world title playthrough. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you soon.